Hey art friends, today we're gonna to be doing another origami project. What are we gonna fold? A dragonfly! Yeah, today we're gonna to be folding a dragonfly, so you need some origami paper, and if you don't have origami paper, that's okay. You can use regular printer paper. Yes. Make sure you cut it into a square first. Okay, you ready to start? Yeah. The nice thing about origami paper is that it's already in a square, and we really like it because it's colored. And yes. usually it's colored on one side and white on the other. So the first step we're going to do is fold our origami paper in half with the color side or the, the white side on the inside and the color on the outside. So we're going to fold, fold it in half this way once. There we go. Make sure it's really lined up and then press down. Make sure your crease is crispy. Good job. All the way down. Then we're going to open it up. And then we're gonna also fold it this way. And for this project, you also need scissors. And I know some origami. origami projects, some people say it's not origami if you cut it. Yeah. But that's okay. We want four wings instead of two wings, so we're gonna cut the wings. Good. Now we're gonna open it up like this, and we should have a plus, and we're gonna fold this corner up to the top. And this, this time we're making sure that the color is on the inside. And if, if, our, if we go too fast, our art friends can do what? Pause the video! Yes, you guys can always pause the video. And we're going to open it up. We're going to fold it the other direction. And I like lining up the corner like that and then pressing down the middle first and then out to the edges. Sometimes that makes it a little easier to keep the fold straight. Good job. Awesome, now we're gonna open it back up. And the easy way to do this next step is to take, take the fold that's like this, so the mountain fold, pinch it with your fingers and then squash it together. Wait. Almost. Wait. <laughs> there you go. Good job. And then we're going to fold it down so that it makes this a smaller square. Good. Now we want to make sure that the opening is down at the bottom, like that. And we're going to fold this edge to the middle. And these steps, if, if you guys have made the dragon with us, uh, that was a lot of fun. These steps are a lot like that. Yes. That lesson. Good. Now we're going to do the same thing on the other side. Fold that into the middle. Now we're going to take the top corner and we're going to fold that over. And this is going to be, these are all guide folds for the next step. So then we can open it all back up and we're going to take that top page and open it like that. And then these folds up here at the top, you're going to need to reverse, but the bottom ones should be should look fine, should be fine. We wanna make sure that it's a point up here at the top. And then we're gonna do the same on the other side. You already did your yeah. other side, good job. You're faster than me. <laughs> okay, and then we're gonna leave it like that. Leave it, whoops, and we're gonna leave it pointed up and we're gonna flip it over and we're gonna repeat those same steps okay. on this side. So we'll fold this edge to the middle first on both sides. Like that. And then fold this flap down. Good, you got it folded down. Then we can open it back up and then use those guide folds to take this top flap, fold it up, and then reverse these top, these top folds so that this lays flat. Makes a larger diamond. Yes. Okay, now we're gonna take this top flap and fold it down, and the back one we're gonna leave up. Okay. Now we're gonna flip over our model and we should have these two little legs. What? Hello. Oh. <laughs> then we're gonna take one and we're gonna fold it so that this edge lines up with the center line. 
there we go. Then we're gonna do the same on the other side. Fold it out. These are gonna be the wings. Yes. Okay, now those are guidelines or gold guide folds. Okay, now we're gonna take it, we're gonna open up this side pocket. Okay, see how this opens up on yes. the side? And we're gonna take the leg or the wing and we're gonna fold it up on that guide fold that we created. But instead of reversing the whole thing, we're gonna push, push it so that this wing is flat. And then the top part should just fold back down right on that center Wait line. Wait a second. Was that tricky? <laughs> okay, so we're gonna open the side pocket like this and we're gonna bring the wing up and, um, and press it flat down. Okay. There we go, good job. Okay. So now let's try that on the other side. We're gonna open up this side, bring the wing up, and make sure it's flat, and then fold that corner down. There you go. And it should look like a star when we're all done. Cool? Yes. Okay, now that we got this star shape, we're gonna fold the head and the tail, but we wanna make them a little thinner. Yes. So we're gonna fold this edge, and I've kind of already done it once. We're gonna fold this edge to the center, and it makes it easier if you fold up here towards the point first. So fold that edge in first, like that. You can go ahead and start yours. Good. Once you get that folded up here at the point, then you can run your finger all the way in to that center, all the way down here, and then fold that flat. Good, yeah. So if you run this finger all the way, make sure it's all the way flat into the little pocket, and then press it down flat. Good job. Now let's do the other side. Okay. So we're going to flip it around. We're going to fold up here at the point first. And then we can run our finger all the way in. Squeaky fingers. All the way back in under that pocket. And then fold this down flat. Is that cool? Yeah. And we got a little pocket right yes. there. So now we're going to flip it over. And we're gonna do the same thing on this side, but it's gonna be a little bit different, okay? So we're gonna fold this edge to the center, and we wanna start at the point first. So this one is gonna fold slightly different because these folds on the side over here are different. Okay, so we're gonna fold all the way into the pocket like we did on the other side. Fold it down. And then it's gonna just naturally just let it just fold it naturally how it wants to fold. So there we go. Now we're gonna do the same on the other side. So we'll fold this edge to the center. And it really does make it easier if you work on the point first. So you work on the point, and then you can work your finger all the way down the fold. Work your finger all the way down the fold and into that pocket. And when you get it down there, then it should just lay flat. You could just squash it. <laughs> yeah, problem just solved. Smash it. Problem solved. <laughs> there we go. And it should just lay nice and flat and you'll have these cool little triangles in here. All right, now we're gonna fold our dragonfly in half. So we pick it up and we can fold it in half and it should look really cool. You want, you want the point, you wanna make sure that you have a point here on his tail and on his head. Okay, so now this is gonna be the tail and this is the head. So see where this little diagonal line is? That tells you that this side is gonna be the tail, this side is gonna be the head. So we're gonna take the head piece, we're gonna make that first. So we're gonna take it right here and just bend it and fold it so it's pointed down. This is gonna be a guide fold. Looks like a hummingbird, huh? Yeah. That's a pretty cool hummingbird. So we're gonna open that back up, and in here we can reverse that fold so that he's, the head is now, or the neck is now on both sides, not just that guide fold. Now it's the hummingbird. Yeah, now, now that's your finished hummingbird, huh? Yeah. Okay, but let's make a dragonfly. Yes. We're gonna take the head and we're gonna roll it up. So we want to start here at the tip and we're going to fold a little piece up 
just a really a really small piece, a small triangle. And you can reverse that triangle too. Okay, so that's a little hard to see. But we're gonna we want to start small because this is we don't want a big giant dragonfly head. So now we can open it up and we're gonna fold it one more time up. Okay. Oops, fold it up and then we'll reverse that again. So squash it down. Good. Now we can open it and roll it again one more time. Okay. And we can squash it sideways. It's flat. Good. It's working. And we're going to roll it one more time. Fold it up and squash it again. And then one more time. And then one more time. <laughs> so here we go. And let's do another one. We're going to fold it up. And this one's going to come up pretty high. And then when we close it up, we want to keep the head kind of pointed up. So I'm just going to kind of squish it and, and make it just flat. And that's okay if it looks a little crumpled. But we want the head to be facing up. Yeah, just like that. Yours looks better than mine. Really? Good job. Yeah, I like it. Looks awesome. So after you're kind of done squishing it, it should just you should just have a nice flat surface right here for his head. You could even draw little eyes on there. Yes. Is that cool? Yeah. Okay, now we're going to take the wings and we're going to fold them flat down. Like that. And we're also going to fold, you know what? I'm going to open it up. I want to fold it flat right across here. So this might be a little difficult because you have a lot of paper in there. There we go. So fold it flat and then I'm going to fold this one flat across here also. Okay, now we're going to take the scissors and we're going to cut the wings in half because dragonflies have four wings. So we'll just cut right here on the corner and cut all the way to the middle, all the way through the middle to the body. There we go. And then we'll flip it around and do the same thing on this side. Little kid scissors. Good job. Always, Always want to be, be safe. Yeah, just, just for safety measures. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. So now we got the four wings like Dragonfly has. Okay, now let's do a couple more things. So the tail isn't as pointy like this, so I'm going to take the tail and fold it up inside the body. Like that. So it's flat right here. And then also the wings aren't this pointy either. So we can take the wings and fold them in. And if you want, if you want to be tricky, you can open up the pocket in the wing like this. And then fold the little corner into the wing like that and then squash it in so it hides it inside the wing is that cool yeah and you can do the same thing on the on the front wing and you want to try to make them the same the same length And then I'm going to take those same steps and repeat them over here. So you can open up the wing, fold in the little corner, and then squish it. Squish it together so that it's hidden inside the wing. Good, we did it! Yeah. Does that look like an awesome dragonfly? Yes. <laughs> did you have fun? Yeah. You promise? Yeah. We hope you guys also had fun following along with us and making your dragonflies. We'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye! Bye. <laughs>